yo, yo, yo. I can't walk. <laughs> Name five beautiful black women. And then be honest, the first two or three that you thought of were light skin. The first two that immediately came to your mind were half white, Ethiopian, not even like really like black, black, like immediately when you thought of five beautiful black women, you thought of two like caramel looking bitches. I think Sneeko wants me to list five of the blackest hot chicks I can think of. I could only come up with four that I would consider to be so black that they're not just black, they're This model named Iman from the 80s would have been number five because I always thought she had a beautiful face. But the reason why she doesn't make this list is she unfortunately had Nasitol. Yeah, what's what? what? Nasitol? No, <laughs> So coming in at number 5 is the chick who I think had the thickest thighs on television during the mid 90s. I always thought Tisha Campbell, who played Gina, had a really nice ass, but Tachina Arnold as Pam simply had a whole lot more ass. Well, well let me get my head together uh, first. What? What's, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. The fact that Tachina played funny and quick-witted characters like Pam from Martin and Rochelle from Everybody Hates Chris made her even more attractive to me. And I'ma let you know, it ain't your booty, it's your beauty. The only reason why she ranks so low on this list is she's not quite as as who comes in at number four. The first time I saw Grace Jones was in this Terrible. movie from 1984 called Conan the Destroyer starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Wilt Chamberlain. There's a prince in the movie who wants to fuck Arnold Schwarzenegger but she doesn't know how to shoot her shot because she's a virgin so she turns to Grace Jones for advice. How do you attract a man? What I mean is, suppose you set your heart on somebody, what would you do to get him? Grab him and take him. You grab him and, and take him. Take him? Like that? I can still remember when I saw this for the first time looking down at my six-year-old pecker at the end of the scene only to discover that I got a boner because that was the day I learned I have a thing for crazy chicks. I think all of the old heads watching this video can remember when she gave birth to a bottle of perfume in the movie Boomerang. <laughs> I found Grace Jones attractive because her sexually aggressive nature made her stand out when America was a lot more conservative. I'd appreciate it if... Hey, hey what's the matter with you? Stop that! Stop it! Stop it! Will you stop it? Get out of here! A merde alors! I mean, I don't believe this. You are going to turn down a pussy like this? Staring you smack in your face? No man can turn down this pussy. Now you're talking to me, baby. That I like. Unfortunately, almost all chicks try to act like this now, so instead of getting turned on when I see this behavior, I interpret it as desperation for attention from a lack of personality. This is the essence of sex. Voila. Unbelievable. Coming in at number three is the first Aunt Viv from The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Who can forget the episode when Aunt Viv took that dance class to let niggas know that she was packing the body of a dancer underneath all of those dresses she wore with the shoulder pads in them. Okay, uh... <laughs>
The original Aunt Viv gave me a vibe that she was a lady in the streets but a freak in the bedroom who cared about everybody like they were a part of her own family. I don't care. Carlton, you are not going to MacArthur Park tonight. In fact, none of you are going to MacArthur Park tonight. Wait a minute. Boy, do not test me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Coming in at number two on my list is Lupita because I think she's the hottest slave in the history of black cinema. There's this part in the film 12 Years a Slave when EVIL <gasps> Caucasians forced this negro to whip Lupita because she left the plantation without permission to get soap so she could take a bath. The negro wasn't whipping Lupita hard enough to satisfy the EVIL <gasps> Caucasians, so one of them stepped in and beat her ass the way he wanted to. Just when I was about to burst into tears and give my TV an I have a dream speech, all of a sudden, OUT OF THE FUCKING BLUE! The camera pans around to reveal Lupita's tied up around some pole. In the new. Fucking naked! Just a mere glimpse of Lupita's bare backside made me completely disregard the numerous whiplash scars of oppression on her back. For the Hollywood makeup or CGI that it really was as I paused, rewinded, and watched her cakes jiggle multiple times over in slow motion on Netflix. You got a fat ass! Lupita's got an African motherland aura to her beauty that I really like and I think she's a pretty good actress too. Yeah! Can we get a motherfucking moment of silence? For this small chronic break. Don't nobody want no lettuce bread salad. It's, you know, and, and anybody that's been near me or saw me order my subway, or even the workers that seen, or, or, or you know, they were fixing my sandwiches, they know not to put lettuce <laughs> bread or tomato butt on my sandwich. <laughs> oh, tomato butt, I understand. I'd be like, like lettuce butt on there? I'd be like, look, if you see the brown piece of lettuce, that's lettuce <laughs> like, butt. Yeah. I'd be like, look, can you exchange that tomato like why would you give that to anybody why would you put lettuce butt on somebody's sandwich <laughs> get that out of here Cause it out of that sandwich. now back to our regular scheduled program before I reveal who I think is the hottest chick of all time is, I'd like to give an honorable mention to this lovely young Haitian lady who just popped up on my YouTube algorithm a couple of weeks ago. I assume her name's Fifi because that's the name of her channel where she gives young women dating advice like Vintadi, what is your name or your family? What is your name? La vie n'a pas madame ni mal ou bien la vie n'a pas l'air à mal. Pas fait de confiance. Never trust someone who bad mouth criticizes or complains about the person that they're with to try to get in your pants. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. I think she's beautiful with makeup on so I rate her an 8. And if she truly practiced what she preaches, I have no doubt in my mind that she'll make a very fine wife for some lucky guy out there someday. Because real men just can't deny. A woman's Coming in at number one's Kelly Rowland, but I must admit it wasn't love at first sight. Beyonce shines like the fucking sun, so it took me like a good year before I Finally! noticed how beautiful Kelly Rowland was when Destiny's Child first came out. I always envision Kelly serenading me with hits she had throughout her career and my fantasies about her. I imagine rolling up in my wheelchair asking her what's it gonna be and she says, You don't know what you mean to me. Then she teases me on our way to the bedroom when she tells me, I don't do it, And then hopefully while we're doing it, she starts singing, We don't wanna never end, we don't want, we don't want to never end, we don't want. But at the end, Kelly always snaps me back to reality when she puts her clothes on and runs out of the room singing. I'm a survivor, I'm gonna make it. I will survive, keep on surviving. I blame racism for the lack of hot chicks I've seen on TV throughout my life. Why? Sexually speaking, I believe black women are the second most racist group of people in America behind Asian men. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out of my 
my store! All you stay out my store! I remember you face! If that's not true, then... Why? 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 Did Lauren London CGI kiss Jonah Hill at the end of the movie, You People? Lauren was still mourning the death of her husband Nipsey Hussle, but she was in another movie a year earlier where she had no problems kissing Michael B. Jordan. How the fuck does that work? The only reason I can possibly come up with as to why Lauren London didn't want to touch lips with the fat kid from Superbad's because, generally speaking, American black women find white men unattractive. That's so very, very sad. I believe black women have suffered the consequence of their sexual preference through a lack of representation in Hollywood. However, I've seen a whole lot more black women with white men over the past decade and as a result, there's more black actresses on TV and in movies. In your heart of hearts, do you really think that's a coincidence? I don't think so, Jim. I've said it before and I'll say it again. People think protest is gonna end racism, but history teaches us that fucking ends racism because it's a whole lot harder to hate me if I'm part of the family. And that's the truth, with some cheese on it. Yeah. Ain't no meatloaf between these buns. So I'll end this video with a piece of advice for single black women who can't find love dating niggas. Love is blind, so try fucking a few white guys for a change so more sisters can get on television. And that's all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, please subscribe, and tell me what you think in the comment section below. Peace. I'm Audi 5000. Those who wish to follow me, I welcome with my hand. Thank you for being a friend. And those are my thoughts for this video. But then again, what do I know? I'm just an old crippled bastard. I ain't too proud to beg for your money, so like, share, and subscribe.